Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, happy to be back on prayer this morning. Although I'm still on vacation for two more days. I didn't want to uh, and friends on like since we're changing anymore. She got a big thing happening this week, so all right. I decided to get back on. Amen. And I selected to read in your hearing this morning from the Gospel of Matthew chapter, I don't know right off the top of my head, but Matthew chapter 9, beginning at verse 35. Matthew chapter 9, beginning at verse 35, and thus says the word of God. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out labor into his harvest. Amen. Praise God for his holy word. Let us pray. Hallelujah. O thou in whose presence my soul takes delight, on whom in affliction I call, my comfort by day and my song in the night, my hope, my salvation, my all. O Lord and our God, you are Lord of all. You are Lord of the day, of the night. You are Lord of the beats of my heart, of the breath in my body. You are Lord of all. And so we rise this morning, Lord God, to give you honor. We rise to give you praise. Hallelujah, God. We rise to give you every glory. We rise because he rose. We rise grateful this morning, God, for another day. Hallelujah. And we rise to gather together, Lord God, in your holy name. We rise to declare that you are our God and we are your people. Hallelujah. We rise in love this morning, Lord God. <clears throat> we rise professing our love for our God with our entire being, with our whole hearts, God, with our souls and with our minds. We rise and gather with love for one another, Lord God. Hallelujah. We love one another, God. Hallelujah, God. We rise with renewed hope. This morning, hope in your purpose and hope in your plans, God. Hope in this brand new day, God. Hallelujah. We rise to unburden our hearts this morning, God. We rise acknowledging that we are yet sinners, saved by your amazing grace. Hallelujah, God. We rise professing every sin that we've committed, every sinful thought, sinful word, and sinful deed. We rise pleading and begging your forgiveness as we repent and are heartily sorry for our misdoings, Lord God. Oh, we are perfectly imperfect, but we are praising your holy name this morning, God, because you are God who recognizes the flaws and fragility of our humanity. Hallelujah, God. And that's why you sent your son, hallelujah, God, so that we would have a God <clears throat> that walked among this earth that we could relate to, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah. We love you today. We love you that you sacrificed your son and that he sacrificed his life so that we might have redemption, so that we might have sanctification, so that we might have salvation, hallelujah, God, Hallelujah, God. Lord God, I rise in obedience this morning to lift up the great people of greater St. Paul. I rise to place them all in each into your holy hands. Lord God, keep them in your comfort today. Keep them in your perfect peace today, God. Surround these, our people, with your protection on today. I pray that no hurt or harm reaches them today. I pray no pain or illness will find them today, God. That they'll spend this day basking in your marvelous light. Hallelujah, God. That they'll become a part of the light and love and and, and, and Jesus unto the world today, God, hallelujah, that somebody will see them and know that they, they have a blessed assurance, hallelujah, God, and they want to know the God that's inside of them, the God that indwells within them, the God that calls them to transition and transform, hallelujah, God, 
Hallelujah. God, I pray that today their desires will be made known and fulfilled, that today they will be renewed, refreshed, re-energized. Lord God, pour into these, thy people, today. Pour more of your wisdom into the day. Pour more of your love and light into them today. Pour into them deeper knowledge and understanding of your will and your way and your purpose and your plan today. Pour your patience into them today, God. Pour your grace and mercy into them and let it overflow from them onto others today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I pray that they'll be obedient today, obedient to your will and your way, God. I pray that they stay true to the high call that you have for each and every one of these our people that on today, hallelujah, God, they get closer to realizing and understanding that they each have a purpose for their lives, that that you have a plan and a purpose, God, in this season and in the next. Hallelujah, God. So many people are just drifting through life, hallelujah, wondering why they're here. But these are your chosen precious people. Hallelujah, God. I pray today they get another piece of the puzzle that is your plan and purpose for them, God. Lord God, I pray that the proud will be humbled today, that those emptied will be filled. Hallelujah. That those who feel they have no hope will have hope today, God. Restore and revitalize and renew. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. For every wrong goes higher and higher. Hallelujah. I plead the very powerful Hallelujah, God. Blood of Jesus over them all in each today, over their children and their children's children, uh, over their possessions, over their properties. Hallelujah, God. Over their endeavors and ambitions, uh, over their livelihoods right now, God. Over their health and strength. Hallelujah, God. Over their commitments, uh, over their love, over their family dynamics, God. Over their marriages, over their friendships, over their relationships. Hallelujah, God. Uh, that, that shared blood of Jesus will continue its wonder work power in their lives, that redeeming power, that sanctifying power. Hallelujah, God. I pleaded from the crown of their heads to their tippy toes today, God. Hallelujah, God. Bless these our people beyond blessing today, God. I pray that they'll want for nothing on today, that they'll all in each continue seeking your holy face today, that they'll be in awe of your movements today, that they'll see you move today and be glad and will rejoice, hallelujah, God, knowing, hallelujah, that that they walk this day with the blessed assurance that you are their God and they are your people. So they do not fret, that they do not worry, that they are not uh, 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 anxious for anything, God, that they rest in that blessed assurance that you hold them today, hallelujah, God. I pray that they walk through this entire day with confidence in Christ, uh, confident that he died so that they might live. uh, Hallelujah. Confident that that he did that so that they would have a a more abundant life. Hallelujah, God. I pray that they'll find his joy and his peace today, that they'll remember the promise of his word, that if they abide with him, hallelujah, uh, that, that they will bear much fruit, that he chose them, he called them each by name, hallelujah, to bear much fruit, that they are your precious people, the very apple of your eye, hallelujah, God, your precious priesthood, the very people called by your name, that they are beyond ordinary because the Holy Spirit dwells within them, making them extraordinary, that they are your called and chosen people, hallelujah. Your word says many are called, but few are chosen, hallelujah. I pray that they walk through this day confident that they are chosen, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name today, God. I pray that they'll all need to be careful to give you every honor, every praise, and every glory. And it's always and only and exclusively in the mighty name of Jesus. The Jesus who said, if we ask anything in his name, that it shall be done. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray you'll bless these people beyond blessing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they stay within the boundaries of your protection today. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will prosper them and increase them on today, God. In the name of Jesus. I pray that all their cabinets will be full, their storehouses stocked, their vats 
full. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. I pray that your healing balm finds those who are ailing and in pain. In the name of Jesus, I pray for breakthroughs for those who are dealing with strongholds and obstacles. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pull down every stronghold, every enemy that's casted some assignment against them on today. I render it null and void in the name of Jesus. In that name that's above every name. In that name that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ who is our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Lover of our souls. I I, I pray that they will commit and surrender this day to you God. This day and every day. Hallelujah that they'll walk different, that they'll talk different today, that they'll attract people who who want to know who their God is. This is my prayer for these thy precious people on today. In Jesus' name. And every good and glad heart said amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. I pray you have a blessed, impactful day today, that your eyes are fixated upon the hills from which cometh every help. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. I love you all because I love you each. Bye.